Hey guys, Joseph here. Just finished doing uh, my first video of the day with the Texas Edition Glock uh, out in the shop still. Uh, just knocking out another video regarding uh, Tungzen in uh, black uh, Smith & Wesson uh, Model 36 I completed. It is going to be a five shot. Went ahead, already cleaned up everything. Still there is going to be a slight break in period, but everything is tied on it. Uh, between lockup, rotation, timing, everything is clean. You see some slight discolorations. Uh, please bear with me. Obviously, I detail everything before it goes out, but there is going to be some excess oil buildup here and there from the final fitting. Come through everything. Yeah, front for, uh, profile on that is amazing. And when I do everything, I mean, I do everything with Cerakoting. Every inch of this thing is coated with the exception of the spring, uh, just because generally I don't like heating up the springs to the temperatures I need to in order to get uh, Cerakote to bond to metal. I did keep the original uh, uh, wooden grips on here. I have become addicted to actually coating these. Uh, what's cool is you can see all the wood grain, the original Smith & Wesson uh, emblem on it. Uh, I really like it. I think it's modernizing uh, a firearm that, I mean, as, as popular as popular could get back in the day. Uh, hammer work, everything on it is amazing. Trigger pull on this one. I mean, you have to be around two and a half, three pounds max. Obviously, you're going to be much heavier uh, when you're going from a double to single. Um, yeah. So rod on it, everything is straight, oiled up nice and, and clean. If you want to see the inside, if I could get the angle here, everything is coated in the top. From front to back, I'm very careful uh, with uh, any dry spray. Uh, anything that it, it comes out uh, during the application process, if I have any signs of dry spray or anything minuscule, uh, that I think I could clean out without having to redo the whole project. I'll go through generally with 2,000 to 3,000 grit sandpaper uh, or some sort of buffing compound and really smooth it out. Uh, but it's silky. <laughs> it's super, super smooth. Uh, not an ounce of pitting or anything like that on the cylinder. Uh, keep in mind, I think this particular one was from the 1950s, if I remember correctly. Looking at it, I mean, it looks like a brand new uh, firearm. So, and it's going to be a head turner for somebody. Uh, if you have anything else that you would like to check out, uh, I believe I also did a video on a 30, Model 36 in all gold and black, uh, which was really, really cool. That one sold surprisingly fast. Uh, but if you have any questions in regards to the firearms that you see in my videos, or you'd like something custom done yourself, or you have an idea for a theme you'd like me to see pull off, uh, let me know. I appreciate your time and uh, stay safe.